Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memoria. Today we're in Alameda at USS Hornet, and we're going to talk a little bit about home ports. Most of the time, museum ships are not displayed in their home ports, and oftentimes they're not displayed in major ports at all, at least major ports that the Navy uses. Uh, so it's fairly rare for a ship, especially a large ship like this one, to have a setup like this. Hornet is currently docked, one of the former main naval bases. Uh, in particular, she's here at the uh, Alameda Naval Air Station, or the former one, and uh, this is one of the main places where carrier aircraft would land when they were uh, not on board, when the ship was in port, so that the pilots could still fly and take off. Carrier flight decks, of course, are too short to launch and recover aircraft from a, a sitting position. So the aircraft would all fly off as the ship is coming into port so that they could fly on and off the runways here on land. Battleship New Jersey and uh, most other ships are not tied up at uh, major naval ports. New Jersey's pier was built specifically for her, and it's a little distance away from any of the major shipyards that were there on the Delaware River. Uh, Battleship Missouri is one of the other notable exceptions, as is the aircraft carrier Midway in San Diego. The Battleship Wisconsin is sort of close to Norfolk. So, uh, what is a home port? Ships are assigned a home port that they typically operate out of based on where that ship is needed and what space has the facilities to maintain them. Often many ships of the same type will be home ported together so that the port's facilities can be specifically built up for that type of ship. An Iowa-class battleship, for example, would have been built on the U.S. East Coast. Uh, the ones that were completed were built in either New York or Philadelphia. Those are not their home ports. From there, they deploy. Uh, and I'm honestly not too sure about ships being assigned home ports during World War II uh, because they're not really moving the crews, families around across the country. They're really shifted based on the needs of the Navy pretty frequently. Uh, so if New Jersey can be said to have had a home port during World War II, Pearl Harbor is probably the closest thing to it, although she didn't spend much time there. Her and the rest of the fast carriers and, and uh, their escorts es uh, operated in the Central Pacific out of uh, forward deployed bases and did a lot of their maintenance work with the fleet train in these forward bases, places like Ulithi and Anahuitoc. For major work, Pearl Harbor often couldn't uh, support them, so they would go back to the West Coast to places like Puget Sound. Post-World War II, the battleships are primarily decommissioned but then, when they're reactivated for the Korean War, their home port is uh, Norfolk, inexplicably. So they have to get their maintenance done in Norfolk, deploy through the Panama Canal, go all the way across the Pacific, participate in the war for a period of time, and then wait for one of their sister ships to replace them so they can go all the way back around. Uh, so despite having four Iowa-class battleships, only one was ever operational in country at any given time. But this was because Norfolk was one of the few places that had a major Navy base and the facilities to maintain four ships of this size. In Vietnam, the battleship New Jersey was reactivated in Philadelphia, but then she shifted her home port to Long Beach, California. At that time, the families of her crew were all moved across country to get there. Likewise, when she transits through the Panama Canal to there, the government pays to have some of their personal vehicles uh, and some of the movement fees and things like that covered. In fact, some vehicles are even transported on the deck of Battleship New Jersey. Uh, you see this pretty frequently when aircraft carriers transition home ports. They'll fly their aircraft there separately and load the flight deck with all of their personal vehicles. New Jersey would uh, have Long Beach as her home port for the rest of the uh, Vietnam Commission, although she would be operating out of Subic Bay when she was actually in country, uh, and also stop at a number of other ports. When the Iowas were reactivated in the 1980s, it was first looked at home porting them in four different places to spread them out. 
However, at the end of the day, it simply proved easier to home port the East Coast battleships in Norfolk and the West Coast battleships in Long Beach. These locations become Navy towns with huge amounts of government spending being localized to those areas. And uh, when the government pulls out of these places, they become massively economically depressed. And many of those former Navy towns are still like that today. Here in uh, Alameda, they're still in the process of redeveloping this area. When the Navy leaves, they turn it over to the city and then the city needs to plan it and uh, do all sorts of stuff. So since the uh, late 90s, they're still in the process of redeveloping here. Philadelphia, home of the former Philadelphia Navy Yard, did something similar. Uh, and when the yard was shut down, some of the major port facilities were able to be privatized and the city of Philadelphia is still in the process of redeveloping uh, all of the massive amounts of land that form the former uh, Philadelphia Navy Yard into mixed use housing, businesses, food, things like that. Because some of the dry docks there privatized, the Philadelphia Navy Yard, or the former Philadelphia Navy Yard, is the likely location of Battleship New Jersey receiving any yard work. And so the Camden, Philadelphia area is Battleship New Jersey's final home port. In fact, the nonprofit that operates Battleship New Jersey is legally known as the Home Port Alliance for Battleship New Jersey. The alliance that was trying to bring New Jersey home to where she was first built. So what's your favorite Navy town? Let us know in the comment section down below. San Diego, Norfolk, Pearl Harbor, uh, these are all still active as Navy towns, although there were many other uh, Navy towns once upon a time. To reduce money, they've been consolidating significantly over the last couple of decades. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. If you'd like to support the ongoing restoration efforts here in Alameda on USS Hornet, there's a link in the description below. They supported us in allowing us to film on board. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.